Hello everyone, this is uh, Daniel over here at Humble Spiding Arts. This is week one, lesson two in our eight week Muay Thai course. And hope you guys enjoyed the first video and got a little warmed up from that. We're gonna head into the second lesson now and um, still stay with some of the fundamental footwork and the stance work from last time. We're gonna shift gears from instead of just using the punches today, we're gonna be adding in the round kick and we're gonna put it all together in a combination and get a good workout along the way. So, Remember, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or message us privately, especially if you are in the private groups, so we can help you uh, answer any questions. So, I want to get right into it today, and let's get started. We start with our feet together, and we bow in for our lesson, hands up, and forward. Stance measurement, like we reviewed last time, feet together. We're going to go one, this is beginning with my dominant foot. I step out 90, two, 90 again, and then three, is a 45 degree angle turn to spread my feet out so they're about hip width distance. My heels are up off the ground. My hands are covering my face, so above my eyebrows here, making a soft fist. And then we find that Muay Thai rhythm. One, two, one, two, one, two. Your hands are up high, so you want to make sure that you're keeping a good compact guard, but the rhythm travels throughout the whole body. I want everyone to stay here for about 10 seconds. Stay nice and loose. And I'm going to ding the bell, the bell's behind the camera here, and we're going to work on some basic warm-up or hip warm-up exercises. So we'll stay here for about five more seconds, nice and easy. When you hear the bell, I want you all to follow me. Get ready. First warm-up exercise, knee to shoulder. In my stance, we're going to go one, two, this leg, one, two. We're worrying about just focusing on bouncing on the ball of the foot. Keeping most of my weight on this leg is standing, and then I bounce up. One, two, think of yourself like a cat. So your foot is tapping on the ground super light, but you bring it up to as far as you can without leaning over. The body stays straight, up, and this side. Bang, bang. Working in inward knees or cup knees. One here, open out, and then shut the door. Open the door, shut the door. Open the door, shut the door. This is to help with that full range of motion with the hip. Coming around. For all you practitioners out there who've done this before, this is also our cup knee. Swinging in, keeping my hands high right now, working a nice, relaxed, even pace. And now we go into up and out. So reverse motion, up and then out. Up and then out. Notice what I'm doing, I'm just kind of shadow boxing it like a shield block. The shield block is how we guard ourselves from a kick. We're coming out and then into that position. Up and out, which we're gonna run over today. Later. Up and out. Up and then out. Work that rotation. Up and out with the hip. Up and then out. Up, out. Find a line. So right in front of you or a point on the ground. We're gonna work on our rhythm hops. This is forward and back. But both feet from the side never come together. Both feet tap the ground, so both balls of the feet land at the same time. And I'm just going one, two, one, two. Just like our first exercise, or a couple exercises in our first lesson. This is again to get a little more active, in and out. One, two, one, two, one, two. Nice and easy. The main focus today, as we switch gears, the last minute, I want everyone to watch and follow me the best you can is our basic ground kick. Focusing on the pivot, we're gonna go kick, rotate, 180. Kick, rotate, 180. Three things to think about. The ball of the foot rotates, the heel turns in. That's one. Two, I throw up my hip and shoulder. So I'm leading with my body, and that's gonna help me bring that whole body weight into it. Last 30 seconds, same thing. Chop the hand down, step three. So one turn, two rotate, three chop down with the hand, and get that down. I'll go over more detail after our workout today. So stick around. We're working through, just do the best you can. I'm aiming with the front part of my shin, so I'm gonna rotate over the top, and make sure I come through with the kick. Get back into the rhythm. Reach, top. We're gonna go right into some basic exercises, but the kick is what we're gonna start with. And this next round is just going to be shuffle forward, kick 180, shuffle forward, and kick 180. Don't go fast in these ones, you get a little 
dizzy. Just make sure you keep your form and focusing on rotating the hips, shoulders, and ball of the foot to get that full range of motion. And then we're going to go, go into some other exercises. So let's start here. Wait for the bell. Hands up. Rhythm. And ready? Shuffle forward. One, two. Throw the kick. Rhythm again. Facing the other direction. Shuffle forward. Ground kick. And same thing. Shuffle forward. Kick. Shuffle forward. Kick. Shuffle forward. Kick. The next exercise of the bell is high knees. Like we're jogging in place. You ready? When we kick, we say ish. Ish. Forward. Ish. High knees. Hands up. Like we're running a sprint in one place. Tap on the balls of the feet and come up to about waist level with the knees. Up and fast. Bring it up. Left knee to right hand, right knee to left hand. And just swing back and forth. Back to the combo on the bell. The kick. Rhythm. Shuffle. Aish kick. Hands up. Shuffle. Aish and kick. Shuffle. Aish and kick. Aish. From this angle, I'm going to go from the side. With the next exercise, we'll be going into the 180 squats. Step. Kick. Step. Kick. Step forward. Kick. Step forward. Aish. 180 squats like our first lesson. One. Swing. Turning. Left to right, right to left, doesn't matter. Oh, we're just changing our direction. Breathe. We go back to the combo with the bell. Or the kick, excuse me. No combo yet. Breathe, you guys. Step and punch at the same time, 
Or if you need more practice and you're a beginner, shuffle first, one, two, and then throw the kick. This is up to you. I'm going to do both. Just alternate. Yeesh. It's not about going fast. Making sure you have good form. Next round, we have our high knees again. Hands up and switch. Breathe. Almost up there. That's okay. Hands up. Swing those arms. Bring those knees high. Hands up. One, two. Aish. Aish. Push up, tap, tap, push up, tap, 
tap, push up, tap, tap, push up. Back straight like a table. Don't tilt. Shh. You guys can watch your upper body work out. Putting these together with a couple. Last one. Done. 30 seconds. Next round, we're gonna go into the same combo, but random footwork. What I mean by that, after we shield, one, two, kick, you can face any direction. You can shuffle back, one, two, or excuse me, shuffle back, shield, one, two, then kick. You can play it in all different four, uh, four directions of the shuffle step. Hands up. Work your rhythm. Maybe I shuffle forward, excuse me. Shield, one, two, and then kick. From this side, I shuffle back. Shield, one, two, and then kick. Be creative. Shh, shh, shh. Just putting it all together and getting comfortable moving. Next exercise. We go right back into the high knees. So hands moving and shuffling. Knees up. Swing the arms. Breathe. Remember on the kick, guys, I know I'm not saying it because I'm trying to explain, but each on the kick, ready for the combo. Hands up. And Aish, Aish, Aish. Breathing is very important, guys. Without our breathing, our cardio is effectively half, if not more. Think about if you're holding your breath. We're trying to push your car. We don't release the breath. Your head's gonna pop like a balloon. It's no good. Make sure you're breathing. Anytime you exert energy, Aish. Aish. Next exercise, right back into the sprawls. So we go down, hips down, and up. Sprawl down, stance. Sprawl down, stance. Sprawl down, stance. And back and forth. Back up, combo, keep going with the combination. Shuffle step random, one, two, kick. Remember to ish as you kick. After this one, we go back into the push-ups, like last round. Find it, end it strong. I missed the shield block there, that's okay. Shield block, one, two, ish. Six, 
seven, eight, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five, faster, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, six, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, make sure you're listening, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, twelve, breathe in, one, two, three, four, Hold it here. Five, six, five, six, five, six, seven, eight, thirteen. We got two more. Deep breath in. Breathe. And hopefully everyone's caught up with me. You're doing a lot better than I am. Awesome. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. Hold it. Six. Breathe in. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight, fourteen. One last one. Let's do it together, guys. I'm tired with you. Let's make it happen. Ready? One, two, three, four. Listen for me. Five. Halfway. All the way down. Halfway up. All the way down. Halfway up. Six. Arms are straight. Breathe. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. Fifteens. So, these are bodybuilders. We like to do online class. So, this is it for the first two lessons. We've gone over a couple different things. The one, two, and the first. This video, talking about the kick. Now, I want to cool down a little bit. Talk about some technical things. Work on technique. So spend the last few minutes here, breathing in, all the best of your ability at home. Hands are up, deep breath in. Find your rhythm. Remember how we measure. We have the feet, 90, 90, 45, hip width distance. Hands are high, eyebrow level, and breathe. Repetition, 
really just consistency and determination, you'll get a lot more out of this. Um, and this is where we really start to build a good foundation in the kick, and then all the other stuff can come with it. So even if you just get this today, or two, rotating the foot, being the hip and shoulder, awesome. If your hands are still a little, little funky and you're not really understanding how to do them, that's okay. Just try to focus on this. But once you get that down, after your first few sessions or your first few repetitions, try to add in those little steps. Rotating the hand down to get the shoulder and play a little bit more. Learning how to recover. So once you get this down, it's not just here. We're learning how to throw the kick. Spin all the way through. Now I'm reoriented if I do miss the kick my opponent's in front of me, I back away, and that's when I can build my shield blocks and go to that. So, that's a rant, a little bit about that, I'm trying to catch my breath too, but awesome job today guys. If you have any questions again, feel free to reach out. Look forward to the next lesson, I'll see you guys in lesson three, week two, and uh, have a great rest of your evening or day, whenever you see this video.